Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with episode number 10 in the adventures of Cooney, the cat who walks the path of chaos in order to save the soul of her dearest friend. And well, we had a technical program. I'm sorry, I have to tell you, I already played for about half an hour thinking that I was recording uh, the new episode. But it turned out after just 20 seconds, the recording had stopped. So I completely have no footage of the past 30 minutes of the game. Here she is, Kuni, still level 19 dark elven monk. But she not, she's not anymore in the unremarkable, uh, unremarkable dungeon. Rather, she has completed the Unremarkable Dungeon, among other things clearing a lesser vault on the bottom level. She then went into the High Mountain Village, where she sold a bit of her equipment until the shopkeeper ran out of money. She wanted to talk to Garb Bai, but Garb Bai said she was still too inexperienced. She killed the Oracle, and I really hope that that was not a mistake in terms of the ending we are aiming for. So the oracle is now dead and eaten by uh, Kuni. She then left uh, the, the mountain chain and entered the, um, this location here, the dwarven graveyard, the, the graveyard we've been at last time, where she dug open the grave statue of an ancient dwarf that we found. Inside that grave... There was an antediluvian scroll covered with dwarven ruins, together with a bit of treasure. From this treasure, Kuni has equipped the true silver chainmail, which is a plus 7 chainmail, weighing just 18 stones, which means she can use it and at the same time get her monk benefits. Also, her appearance uh, increased a lot through that, because she's not wearing the ancient mummy wrapping anymore. Well, that's the short version of uh, the parts of the run that you have missed now. Well, we cannot change it. I hope you can forgive me. Let us, uh, maybe, maybe you can forgive me if we get an uh, exciting fight against a red dragon to see. Female red dragon. We don't hit it very reliably. The good thing is we can always outrun it if things get close. We've got 200 HP. It definitely out. Can do a lot of damage. We got more effective ammunition that would be pretty cool. This way it might take a while. Anyways, I want to regenerate a bit quicker. Rapid healing and check our ammunition. No dragon slayer, sadly. Let's see what happens if we use the Eternium ammo. That's 22 damage, nice. Let's see what happens if we take the penetrating ammo. ammo. Twenty five damage, that's good. Twenty two. Getting the dragon down. Running a little short on ammunition. But the dragon is running a little short on life energy. Almost got it. One more hit. And we killed the dragon. Excellent job. It dropped a lot of arrows. Where did they, did they get those from? No clue. So let's pick up these arrows we used and then continue. So that's all we need from here. Anyways, um, like I told you, the 
shopkeeper in the high mountain village ran out of money. So we have to sell the rest of our stuff back here in Dwarf Town. Returning to Dwarf Town, there's one thing we mustn't forget. There is a Gorgon close to the stairs to D5. This Gorgon can become a serious threat to us. We absolutely have to go invisible before we enter the level D5. I think it was D5. It was definitely not D4. Let's make sure that we've got the Ankh equipped. Just if we need luck, then uh, we want it. Need one more Stoma of Philia. Go to the stairs. And now you might think, oh damn, he's not sure if it was D5, this idiot, he will waste his potions of invisibility. No, he will not, because he read a couple of books in the part of the episode that you couldn't see. One of them was a book of invisibility. Let's read this, cast it on ourselves, and we are invisible. Cast it one more time, maybe. And go downstairs. No, that was not yet. Not yet the, the level we were afraid of. But it's pretty cool that we can get invisible on uh, whenever we need now. Let's cast one more time invisibility. Go downstairs. Still not. Was it D7? For safety reasons, one more casting. Here is the Goron. We go to a distance. We don't need our special ammunition. Let's just take the ordinary arrows. And puncture the Goron with arrows. Yeah, with our speed, we are almost twice as fast as the Goron. So we can walk and shoot in the time the Goron can just walk in. That's really good. Can we hit this guy? Oh, we can. Good. Need this. Go further downstairs. Yeah, apart from uh, from invisibility, we also learned a couple other spells, as you probably already saw. We can now cast darkness, invisibility, magic missile. Oath, pretty good spells. That can really help us in certain situations. So, let us uh, sacrifice a bit of gold, like a thousand nine hundred fifty-seven, and hope that's enough. Very pleased with you. Are we still cursed or so? I'm not sure. I kind of want to drink a potion of insight. Let's do that. We are intrinsically fire resistant, intrinsically poison resistant, cold resistant just by an item. We are still doomed. Okay, good. Good to know. That's what I wanted to know. Able to control teleportation. We did not get shock immunity from the lightning lizard cards, sadly. We have to sell, uh, sacrifice more money. 2,000 more, maybe. Have to sacrifice even more. We want to get rid of doomed. You feel inner strength lifting your spirits. <coughs> Was that the message that tells us that we are not doomed anymore? Let's waste one more potion of insight to find out. <coughs> no, it was not. <coughs> oh, damn. You feel inner peace. Was that the message? We have to get back into the game. That's not... Oh, damn, we're still doomed. What was the message? I remember. It was a terrible gloom being lifted from you. That's it.
running out of gold, I'm afraid. Damn, that's just sacrifice the rest. 4,000. You feel spiritually invincible. Don't tell me we're still doomed. We're doomed and cursed. Fuck. Kinda sucks. Anyways, that doesn't stop us from... Uh, how good is our haggling by now, by the way? 55, nah, not yet good enough. That doesn't stop us from selling our stuff here. These must go. Let's sell these, these just because they are heavier. It gives us 2,000 more gold. Is that enough to get rid of the doom status? No, it's not. Ah, oh, damn! That sucks. Lost the key for this door, I see. Maybe if we pick up these stuffs. Let's just sell this. Let's sell the static gloss. There's a lot of stuff that we don't need anymore. Is it, I guess? Let us. Oh, wait, while we're here, we can quickly read the Tome of Donors. Pick it up first. You read about how Andos and Vasca recovered lost villagers in the endless tower of Oath. You suddenly feel well prepared for not getting cold feet. What's this supposed to be supposed to mean? Maybe we got cold resistance. I think we got cold resistance. Cool. I don't think we already had intrinsic cold resistance. Now we have. Really cool. Mm. Drop the tome of Jonas. We got a couple of potions I want to drink. Like troll blood. Raw mana. Potential mana. Potential beauty. Raw chaos. No, <laughs> not raw chaos. That's it, I guess. No, no, no. Uh, I want to drop some stuff as well. 
the Gannets of Peace. That was the artifact we found uh, last time, by the way. And um, as it might seem a bit of a, of a bummer to find the uh, Gannets of Peace, uh, it has an advantage for us. The point is, um, these Gannets are not only good rattling fodder, they are also uh, one of our potential crowning gifts, the most disappointing one. So getting them now from a uh, search of power means we will definitely get a better crowning gift once we get crowned. Not bad, I guess. We can... What did I want to drop? There was stuff I wanted to drop, wasn't there? Yeah, the corruption removal. That was it. We had to cover scrolls, didn't we? No, not scrolls. Maybe potions? Wait a second. I was oh yeah, here it is. Scroll of corruption removal. That's what I was looking for. Let's quickly get some holy water. And let us sacrifice. The staves. Mister does not seem to be interested in your offer. Aha. Stave of Underslaying. What about that? Be spiritually invincible. That sounds not bad. Staff of Sensing Traps. Spiritually invincible. And nothing secrets. Suddenly you can see yourself again. Uh huh. Invisibility lasted pretty long. Oh, come on. That's been all of them. We've got a bit more stuff to sell. Severance, braces of defense. I'm sure we will not use them. These both weapons. Mm. That's it, isn't it? Let's try to sell that. Fourteen, thirteen. Well, that's not a lot. 500 gold. I think that's enough. Five, eight, nine. Spiritually invincible. I think that's not enough. One more portion of insight just to make sure, but I'm 99% sure we are cursed and doomed. That sucks hard. We are super cursed and doomed. What do we do about that? Need more gold. Could probably try to commit a crime. Close this door. Get invisible. That should be enough. Let's go down here. 
and now sneak into this room pick up what is the most expensive piece of equipment on this deck uh, these for 40,000 take these oh we stole them nice what else do we want to steal? Uh, 4,000, 20,000, 200 sort of mayhem. We stole it. Nice. Oh my god, we are criminal. Two uncursed emeralds for 5,000, that's not bad either. But there must be something more expensive. There's not. Steal the emeralds. Maybe there's something very expensive up here. It's all stuff we sold earlier. Here, yeah, Mithril Chainmail, 9000. That looks good. Steal it. Huh? Uh, and I saw another expensive piece of armor. Where is it? 8,000 crystal chamber of protection. It's ours! Haha! -ha. Ah, damn. I lost track. Where were we? There must be more very expensive items, I hope so. Uh, 5,000, better than nothing, but I want more. 7,000 for the adamantium longsword. Let's steal that. Check the two-handed weapons. Anything nice there? 6,000 for the halberds. Not bad. But there must be more. Skagari for 9,000. That's good. Steal them. I think we're getting all of that. Uh, these for 80,000 gold. I just want to take a look from, from the bottom. Maybe there's something nice at the bottom. Maybe not. 6,000 for the Eternium ingot. Why not? Take that. Take as well. Take as well. We really need every coin we can get. I don't want to. I, I intend to do Dark Forge next, maybe, and I don't want to do that doomed. Take the Mithril Herberts. Just check if that works. Yeah, we really he didn't realize us. What do we have on this stack? Any important? No, nothing. Go back up here. He really doesn't see us. We seem to be pretty sneaky. I. I'll just 
try to get some stuff at once. We've got the most expensive stuff now, I think. So we have to swap towards the smaller targets. All of this is once. Holy moly. Criminal Mastermind Cooney in action. Finally back at doing chaotic stuff. Still didn't realize it. Waldenburg, are you blind? Don't you need the money? Almost starting to feel bad about it. Master Thief Cooney I think uh, probably in the end we have to stop because she gets overburdened. Absolutely possible. <laughs> Otherwise, she might never stop. She would just get more and more greedy. Overwhelmed by the temptations of a chaotic life. Now she's already at the point where she says everything above a thousand gold or even less. She just picks it all up. She says, it's mine, it's all mine. Nobody else deserves it. Just me. For the greater good, for the higher cause. my friend Muna. Let's go over here again. Wait, let me check. This, this is really all successfully stolen. She's the best thief ever. Let's go here. There are more expensive things here. You know what? That's enough. We're over overburdened anyways. To wait a couple of turns till we get visible again. Or can we just sell it while we're invisible? I don't think so. Yep, here we are. Hello, Waldenburg. How are you? Got a bit of stuff that I might want to sell to you. <laughs> Let's do that now.
It's gonna be a bit of work now. But I hope it's worth. I hope he's got enough money to buy all that back. Otherwise, what do we want to do with all this crap? Let's start with this. Oh, that's something. 2,000 gold. Hmm. Oh, wait. I'm not going to sell the bows. Oh, dude, I will. I will. One bow is enough. Uh, I think we had some Skogari here, here, and here. Not too bad we are so bad at, uh, at reputation here. Otherwise that would be so much money. This way will be a, a bit less, but I hope still enough. Eight thousand gold again. Ah, uh, that should should have been hundreds of thousands <laughs> if we uh, sell that for a uh, for a reasonable price, but we cannot. One guy is out of money. This guy hates us. We're out of alternatives. What about those rings? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hmm. Hmm. So once I might do some inventory management here later. Still a strange message. Nobody needs a strange message. And sell those gemstones. So altogether we get 9,000 gold. It's not super much, but it's something, and I really hope it's enough. Let's see if we start with 5,000. Fuck. We're in trouble. We got chaotic, and we just turned this altar into a chaotic altar, which means we have to kill the priest. So, come on, follow me, dude. I don't want you on this level. Luckily, we are a lot, a lot quicker than him. So we can lure him upstairs. And now, okay, there's an... I think... Oh, damn. Have you got a wand of digging? Yes, we have. I want to... If we kill him, I'm pretty sure of that. Um, if we kill him, then uh, the dwarves in Dwarf Town will know, no matter if they saw it or not. So I don't want to kill him. I rather want to lure him into a chamber 
and trap him in there. Which chamber is best suited? Probably the one in the bottom right. Does he still follow us? Check that. Yeah, here he comes. Come on, Rund. We don't need you anymore. We have got a chaotic altar in Dwarf Town now. That's what we wanted. It's chaotic. That's what we are. So let's lure him over here. Run around. Run away from him. Zap a wand of door creation. Right here. Open the door. Close the door. We cannot lock it. Damn. Zap door creation. Oh, damn. Have we got another wand of door creation? I hope we have. Here. Lock the door. So, this way we should never see him again. Perfect solution, I guess. So, there is no more priest. Up there in Dwarf Town. And so, we still got the ability to interact with the dwarves. Not bad. Of course, um, we are far, far away from uh, from being able to uh, lift the curse on the chaotic altar. Well, well, well. I'd like to have maybe at least uh, well. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Uh, maybe let's just sacrifice. Dorfs, do you believe me that this is your no new priest? This uh, nice little guy up here? Come on, priest. Follow me into the into the temple. You have to be there for your for your people. Okay, he's pleased. That's good. I think uh, the best thing I could do is really walk around, spawn monsters, lure them up, sacrifice them on the altar. Pretty much all I can do right now. The good thing is that no chaotic monsters randomly spawn in Dwarf Town, so at least there is no risk that we uh, get sacrificed when we step on the altar. Oh damn, that means I've wasted all the money. All the money I sacrificed in this episode is all wasted because we are now chaotic and not neutral anymore. Very pleased. Oh, that's gonna be a grind. I'll also sacrifice all our money, why not? Very pleased. Sadly, we are not afraid to sacrifice the dwarves. At least, not quite yet. Uh, I think let's make this uh, a bigger level. That would uh, probably help to spawn more monsters. Damn! Uh, in order to do so, I will. The rest of this episode will be grind, dudes. Uh, if you don't want to see that. Maybe tune in again for the next episode. For this episode, just grind until the end. So, blessed stomophilia. And now let's increase the size of these rooms. Except for the room where we trapped uh, the, the priest in, of course. Whenever oh blink dogs, I uh, cannot sacrifice the the spawns, so I'd rather kill them all.
Uh, the doom status is of course because we uh, ate the oracle. That's the usual reaction to eating an oracle. You just get doomed by it. Follow me, go about. Need you down here. I have to take good care not to get sacrificed by a uh, by cobot. You burn with the anticipation of power. Okay, getting there. Sorry, I really kind of fucked that up. Is it an original worm? Oh no, worms are not worth wasting your time. It's very likely that that they will will be spawns anyway, summons. That means I have to go through the level soon and find the remaining worms, if there are more. Luckily this guy can definitely be sacrificed. Hey, come on. Burn with the anticipation of power. Good. Otherwise, no monsters will spawn. This is special quarter stuff. We can sacrifice that. Where are the other worms? There must be more. Nope. But at least this guy. Can't find any more worms. Maybe it was really just the two of them. Uh, and that cannot be sacrificed, I think. Good thing about chaotic altars is you can sacrifice pretty much everything, lawful, neutral and chaotic. The only thing we do not want to sacrifice is dwarves. For obvious reasons. Oh, there's one more blink duck. Forgot to sacrifice the quarter stuff, my bad. There are more worms. They must have been in another part of the level. Look for them. You are not allowed to stop other monsters from spawning, other more useful monsters than yourself, if I may say so. This guy will just be a nuisance. Not here, but this guy, we can sacrifice him. No more worms to be seen. Take the both of them. Jackal and the lizard. Uh, at least we are super, super quick. That makes the whole thing a bit easier. Sacrifice the staff that we found. I really think this uh, this priest is a bit of a of a crybaby. Can happen to everybody. If you go into a temple, then convert it into a chaotic temple. Well, just bad luck. I didn't mean to do it. I 
I was about to say, usually Kuni is a very, very lawful, good person, but well, uh, mm. then I remembered that she was just stealing pretty much everything that uh, Waldenburg had to offer, and uh, <laughs> maybe that's not it's, not, it's not that easy. Reality is complicated. Machiavelli said that uh, if the world were a perfect place, then uh, it would be perfect if a, if a ruler or a hero or a big person was completely morally integer, but uh, that's just not the way the world is. It's organized in a different way, so uh, it's more important how people uh, perceive you than how you actually are. They mentioned Machiavelli's an heirs. <laughs> oh well. He's actually not, it's also there it's a bit more complicated, but uh, not here to talk about philosophy. We created ourselves a second big room. Which actually is pretty cool. And which is possible with a with a monk rather than with any other class. Because the monk uh, has an infinite supply of digging as well as the ability to not starve to death while doing so. Takes a couple turns. We're not starving to death, as you can see. Let's sacrifice Gollum as well. Where is he? Hey, Gollum! I've got your ring, your treasure. By the way, our toughness is pretty low. Do we have more Moria roots? Oh, we've got a couple. Eat this, eat this, eat. I think they can even be cursed. Eat two cursed ones. One point I should probably harvest more Moria. We are still quite a bit away from the potential maximum of 25 that you can get with herb training. Here, distant wind, there is again one of our beloved vortices on this level. At this point, no vortex should be able to one-shot us. We are above 200 HP. That's quite a lot, actually. And vortices are especially annoying because you can almost not sacrifice them. You, follow me. with the anticipation of power. Hmm. Probably got 10 more minutes. Hope that will be enough. It's already a pretty big room, I think. Really sorry, guys. This is uh, the most boring <laughs> second half of the episode you could get. But the bigger the room, the higher the chance that the monster spawns. And we want as many monsters as possible, so we can 
sacrifice them all to our evil god. Ah, dwarf. Dwarven child, go away. Spiritually invincible. Getting closer. Where did he go? Let's take both of them. Whew. What a pleasure. That's how you want to spend your Sunday night. surprised how a few monsters spawn there. Maybe I should take a short trip around the level and check if uh, there are a lot of monsters in the other rooms at the moment. Well, after kicking away these four steps, I guess. These four squares. Come on, kick it away. I was a dwarf. In that case, I could just sacrifice all this ore. I think they can at least. I can tell you already I will not finish this episode before we are not doomed anymore because I uh, definitely don't want to do that again as I already told you this episode will be boring so uh, those who want to skip should not have to skip even more oh then press tab that's it room has to be a nice perfect uh, rectangle is, is uh, I don't know the, the English word for something which uh, two parallel sides that is not necessarily a, a square um, still bloated by the way Monk getting bloated with blessed somophilia is pretty insane. I really 
really expected to see more monsters, yeah. In our semi big room. If I take a look at the minimap, it's probably not as big as I uh, as it feels for me. Take a look around and see if there are monsters waiting anywhere. Oh, hi. Acid Vortex. Go to the distance. This guy can always be really dangerous for our equipment. Rather kill it like this. Okay. Revenant, first. Who are you? Attack. Attack and troll. I like these guys. Come on. Attack, troll. Cobalt, you come too. That's how I wanted to be. A lot of piety coming right up. Oh, hi. Not you. Who opened the door for him? Who was that? Damn. Oh, of course he's the fastest. So we have to sacrifice. Ah, oh, so this guy got out. Somebody must have opened the door. But who was it? Who of you can actually do that? I just have to avoid the cat stepping on the altar. Kitty, follow me. You too. Just follow me. Free action amulet and kill it. I don't want to fight a mimic now. Especially not a greater mimic which can actually do significant damage to us. So, somebody kicked in the door. Some asshole. My beautiful door that I created especially for them. No, that's not enough. I also want the priest. Where's the priest? Well, maybe later. Follow me, guys. Point is, I think usually we should spawn more monsters, because especially thinking about that we are still doomed. Why did you run here? You idiot! But now that looks like a like doomed state. It's, it looks a lot more like it. Spiritually invincible, pretty hard to get higher. 
Ah, oh, damn. That's the most boring part of the whole series, I'm afraid. Hey, wanna take a look at the temple again? It's beautiful. I think you would also make a good chaotic priest. Ever considered it? You know what? I just learn one level higher. I think that's a lot easier. Come on, Rent. Kill this guy. Come here. Come one step closer. Into the big room. You can stay here. Just thinking about that. Why do I create a big room if we've got a, a real big room just a few steps away? That's pretty stupid. But we have to lower it upwards. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I didn't see the danger. We got paralyzed and poisoned at the same time. Uh. Why well, dudes, I'm afraid this is the end of the adventure of Kuni and Muna. Both of them died ridiculously stupid deaths. The first of them crushed into Lake of Piranhas. The second, second one as a level 20 character died to ghouls and spiders. Ma. Ah. Guess there is nothing we can do. Uh, relearning the game from the very start but well this episode was under a bad star from the beginning starting with not recording the start of the episode converting that altar not getting rid of the doomed status <laughs> finally such a stupid death anyways guys I hope that you enjoyed this series I will prepare a new series for you to start soon and I hope that I will be able to play a tiny little bit better by then. I still want to thank you all a lot for the support that you had for our two little kitties now that their virtual alter egos have both failed. I will focus on the real kittens here at my place and cuddle them a little bit in order to overcome the sadness. Still, one more time, thanks to everybody who supported our kitties. Thanks to everybody who supports the channel, although I'm a pretty lazy bastard. And don't upload very regularly. And I, I really enjoy that. I really enjoy playing the games, reading your comments, the enthusiasm that you uh, guys bring into it. And that's why I'm already looking forward to the next series. Until then, bye everybody.